From carabet feathers to slick suits and velvet robes, Dio celebrated Josephine Baker and the wild freedom of the Roaring Twenties in a celeb packed show on Monday to kickstart Hot Couture Week in Paris. Baker made Paris her home and recently became the first woman of color to gain a place in Pantheon where French greats are buried. She immediately made very precise choices, very hot couture, where there were very modern cuts, but also plated skirts with jumpers. It was also incredible to see her in uniform because she was a woman who had been part of the French resistance, who had also fought for human rights. So I think she made an incredible awareness of what she could do with her fame. Baker was a client and a muse of Christian Dior himself, her athletic body and short hair representing a different femininity from the slim waisted figure of his iconic new look of the 1930s with his famous bar jacket and Corolla skirt. France has recognized this important artist in his pantheon. I think this is a big step for a country that also has a colonialist history. I think it's an important thing for all of us, especially in this globalized world, to recognize all the talented people in these different countries and to celebrate them all together. Baker came to Paris in 1925 to perform in the reviewed Neg at the Champ Elysee Theatre, where she was expected to play up to the racial stereotypes of the day.